Okay, so don't pay attention to that over there because I told you last time that I have not been yet finished painting my room. So that's gonna be there for another while until I manage to buy some more painting supplies. Moving on. Okay, I'm gonna go back two months from today. Well, not really two months, about two months from today. And I'm gonna tell you about an experience that I went through on today's rant because today is Thursday and Thursday is the day that I set aside to rant on the internet. Yay! Okay, let's get started. I keep looking over here, but you're over here. Okay, I need a, okay. Mm, how did I do this last time? There, that's better, I guess. Uh, anyways. On, in February, on February 6th, on February 6th, the day before I got this wonder that I'm recording myself on, I went to my dad's house. He called me on Thursday afternoon asking me if I wanted to go over. I didn't really want to go over, but once he said that he will, he, he would see about getting my phone, I was like, ooh girl, I'm gonna go over there because he... We agreed that he was gonna pay half and I was gonna pay half and blah, 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 blah. So yeah, that happened. But he gave me two hours because my uncle who lives like two blocks from here, from this area that I do dominate, not dominate, reside, that he was gonna pick me up at four. He called me at 2.15 or something like that. So that gave me like two hours to pack. And me, I need like a whole six days to pack because I need to like think out what I'm gonna take, what I'm not gonna take, what clothes I need, what I need to wear, what's the weather gonna be like. Like I need to know these things like that in the snap. The good thing was that it was cold and when it's cold, I usually wear shorts and I only wear pants if I'm gonna go somewhere. So I took a bunch of pants, jeans, and a bunch of, I didn't take any sweatshirts because dear god, it, I hate sweatshirts because it gets too hot for me. And I keep looking over here. Let me fix this. Okay, so like I was saying, okay, so in that time that I had to pack, for some reason, it completely skipped my mind to pack calzones. So, on the drive over there I realized that I did not pack calzones and I was like oh dear god what am I gonna do ow ooh. like I was just like ooh, what's gonna go on what okay what am I gonna do what what I had no idea I was just like what I was like overthinking things I was like maybe I was gonna try to like I don't even know what I was gonna try to do but then once I got there like after we ate dinner and everything I was gonna cuz usually cuz I took a shower before I left which was a good thing that I did that otherwise I would have been smelly like I would have been sweating because oh my god, I was not gonna change my clothes and not change my calzones that's gross and that's, why am I even talking about this but anyways let's move on okay so I got over there and then we ate dinner it was late everyone was gonna go to sleep and then I was like okay well I need this and he was like okay well tomorrow morning I'll let you go over there like after you drop me off at work or something like that like he was gonna okay I was gonna go and then to Walmart and then I was gonna come back then he was gonna go to work okay so I went to Walmart by myself I did really good I parallel parked perfectly uh, wait, not parallel parked, not parallel parked. I parked in the little parking slot perfectly and I was like oh my god I parked perfectly and I was just like so excited I was just like oh my god I was like feeling super perfect I was like Ooh, I'm flawless. Look at me. I parked perfectly. None of y'all nasty little rashes can compete with me. But, so I went I went into the store. I got the things I needed. And then I went to self-checkout because I don't want to, like, go through a line and wait in there in forever. Because I had to be back, like, so my dad could go to work, right? So, I go. I get what I need. It took really quick. It was just like that. So then I go to the self-checkout. And <laughs> the little register checkout thing that I used apparently it said credit cards only but in my mind I didn't see it okay that didn't exist to me so I go and I scan my item and I take a $20 bill out from my wallet and I try to slide it in into the little slot which wasn't glowing by the way so I guess I should have known that something was wrong with it but I was just like why isn't it going in and when when I was walking into the little because they have like a little square for the self-checkout aisles now 
the weird old elf troll lady with white hair was just like staring at me. She was like, ooh, this one's gonna be trouble. I knew what she was thinking. Like, I could feel her thoughts coming out from her soul. I could feel her judging me. But anyways, I walk in and then like, I, this little weird screen pops up and I'm like, what is this? And I'm like, continue. I click continue. I didn't even read because I didn't have time to read. I did not want to read. Okay, so then she's just like, I could feel her dead eyes staring at me. They were, they were just lifeless. She was just like, mm. and I was, I could just feel them on the back of my head. I was like, ooh, this lady is staring at me. And then I looked over and then she would look away and I was like, this hoe is staring at me. And I was just like, oh my God, stop staring at me. You're not making things easier. Uh, so anyways, <laughs> I'm still very angry about this. Okay, so after a few, after a minute of me there struggling to get the $20 bill into the damn machine, she like screams from the other side of the little square. She's like, that only takes credit cards, sir. And I was just like, oh, okay, you don't have to be rude with me. I didn't say that, but I was thinking it. And I was like, what is she doing? And I was just like, like, oh my god, like, I cannot believe the audacity coming from this hoe. <clears throat> Anyways, so I look, I turn over my shoulder and I see her lifeless body just gliding towards me. I'm like, oh my god, she is coming. And then she's like, it only takes credit cards. That's why the sign is there. And she was a white lady, okay? So she was being racist. She was implying that I did not know how to read. So, ho, get your facts straight. Yeah. Okay. So then she was like, now you have to move your stuff and go do it again and another thing. So I was going to grab my bag, but as soon as I did that, she like snatches the bag from the little, the, what's it called? The bagging area. And she like snatches it and she grasps it in her claws. She was just like, ah, yeah, yeah. And I was afraid that she was going to perform some like exorcism on herself and try to like devour my soul. Like, I don't know what was going on. She was just like, Rah! And she's like comes over with her little car that's tied around her neck and she's like jamming it in the machine and I'm just like oh okay and then I tried to explain that I didn't see the sign but she was just like blah 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 like she didn't let me speak she would not let me speak and every time I would try to grab I would every time I would try to pry my bag from her dead claws she would just like start doing this weird body motion like backing me off and I was like okay I'm not gonna steal for it obviously you see me trying to pay for it you have my $20 bill and my items in your hand I'm not just gonna take my items and leave you selfish conceited piece of elf <sighs> so then we were walking to the other side to the other cash register self what was that self checkout thing and she was like like i tried to like take my bag from her and she would not give it to me she was just like Rrr. and i was just like oh okay and i was like can i have my bag now and then i was gonna take it the my item out from the bag and scan it but no she scans it for me as if i don't know how to scan an item oh you saw me scan the item the first time you were watching me with your beady eyes like er like an owl you were like a hawk about to swoop in for its prey you were just waiting for the right moment which is exactly what she did <sighs> hmm whatever i'm over it i guess i guess i'm over it i'm over the fact that she insulted my intelligence which is probably superior to hers since she's there just standing staring at people waiting for them to mess up so she could go and improve their situation which obviously did not work lady you made me very angry and the customer is always right okay i was the customer you were the employee i was there at the self-checkout trying to make things go my way the way I perceive is correct the customer is always right so therefore evil elfish dwarf lady you were wrong so I hope you consider that next time you try to steal people's money and do all this weird voodoo staff staff all this voodoo stuff on us okay okay
over and out. I am done here, okay? But before I leave, I'm gonna play you a note. I'm gonna play you an angry note because to show how very angry I am. Okay, bye.